My name's Sandra Flower. I'm here at OCA today as part of the assessment team and I'm looking at the work of one of the textile students, Penny Redding. I've selected her work because she's got a really lovely purposeful sketchbook and it really does demonstrate how to develop an idea, which is something that students are often asking about. So, for example, she's for part of her project, she's looked at the work of Henry Moore and she's looked at a range of his drawings in particular and then she's gone through in her sketchbook and she's explored a whole range of different media and materials in response to Henry Moore's drawings. So, for example, she's using wax resist, she's using wax resist, ink, bleach, dyes, and trying to get through those materials some of the qualities that are in, that are in Moore's drawings. She goes through several pages where she's trying various different techniques and then she moves that into a series of ideas for a range of printed textiles. And this sketchbook really does illustrate the thought processes and the way in which her ideas have developed through exploration of scale, mark making and a range of different materials. So, for example, here she's picked up on an element from one of Moore's drawings. She's looked at a particular shape. She's explored it through a range of different media and materials. She's blown up the scale and seen the effect that that has on her own drawings. She's then started to put it into a repeat using stitch to create emphasis and as a drawn line. Once she's done all of that, she's then moved on to the next assignment and she's used this exploration to inform her textile designs for the next assignment. So she has started by photocopying one of her pieces. She's then scanned that into Photoshop and played with lots of the functions within Photoshop to create a range of design ideas. From there, she's selected the ones that she thinks are the most successful and she's actually printed, had those digitally printed onto fabric in a range of colourways. The interesting thing there is she's then gone a step further and continued to develop her ideas by taking two or three of those fabrics and then translating those very flat two-dimensional designs into much more 3D surface textural fabrics. So again, it's just showing the thought process of how you can take an idea from a very simple beginning and push it through a range of processes to arrive at something that's really quite innovative and exciting.